what's up y'all welcome to epiphany tarot i am here to do the daily reading for what is it may 19th i think it's may 19th but um i know today is thursday right yeah today thursday so yeah welcome y'all please like share subscribe comment all that good shit we're gonna go ahead and tap in overall energy we got is anger and chains number 29 so um somebody here could be really pissed the fuck off today you know this card talks about um like somebody is just they they're tired they want to break free from something um i don't know if this is because this person feels like they're stuck in a situation or they feel like nothing is going their way or shit is not working out or shit just keep happening so it's just like this person may you know lash out today or explode or just you know, somebody just had it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's just like, they're tired. They're like, all right, I ain't had enough of this shit. I don't know if this person going to be arguing with somebody around them or they're going to try to argue with you or explode on you or get mad at you because this, this card also speaks to projection. So this is somebody projecting their anger on other people, blaming other people and all that type of shit. For some of you, it could be a Leo or a Scorpio. And then we got pressure cooker out here is the first card. So it says rage ready to explode. That's why I said like explosive. Somebody has an explosive attitude. Somebody can have an anger problem. They're lashing out. They're blaming. They want to fight or they just want to go off or something like that. Pressure cooker is like somebody is pissed. Somebody is pissed. And they they feel some type of way. They're tired of holding it in. They're trying to act like they're not mad, like they're not bothered, but it's really getting to them. Like somebody's going to get enraged. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get pissed the fuck off. I don't know if they're mad at you, Collective. They're just mad at their circumstances. But I feel like it could be you because Divine Feminine, you're out here. Okay? So somebody could be trying to like turn up with you, turn up on you, lash out, blame you or something for something here. And then we got access granted. So this is somebody who's spying on your social media. It says fake profile hiding. So I don't, I just heard gang stalk. So I don't know if you have a lot of people watching your social media platform right now. Um, Divine Feminine. It could be, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever the fuck you got. I feel like it's multiple people watching you. I don't know why. Or it's one person in particular that's like spying on your page or trying to lurk or trying to see what you got going on. But Divine Feminine, you're in your power. So I feel like you're not entertaining whoever this is. They could also be another reason why they're mad because you're not paying their ass no attention because you know your worth. So it's just like this person can't get as mad as they want to. Like this is giving me the vibe of somebody who like, I don't know. It's like this could be somebody who tried to like do their best to piss you off Divine Feminine. But you Divine Feminine, you don't step off your throne for nobody. So this is somebody who tried to piss you off but piss themselves off in turn because you're unbothered, unmoved or anything about anything this person is saying and doing. So, and, and like, this person could be mad at something that you're saying on social media, something that you're posting, sharing, or something. They may feel like it's shady or an attack towards them or something. I don't know. And then on the bottom of the deck, we got crushed. It says sad, broken, feeling alone. So, yeah, Devon Vinny, you could have broke up with somebody or declined somebody or told them no, cut them off. Like, I'm good. Like, no, you could have did it something here and somebody is fucking pissed about it and they could be taking it out on you trying to argue with you or take it out on people around them like this is somebody who doesn't want to take accountability yeah lightning it's a shock something happened here somebody's shocked because you cut them off shocked because you ended something or just something here let's see what's the message here Yeah, it says crushed, broken, sad, feeling alone. So this person could be, I feel like Divine Feminine, you could have dated something with somebody, like cut them off, not talking to them and shit. And it got this person's pit. It has this person so mad, like, <laughs> like they are so mad that you're not talking to them. We got ascending. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So, yeah, this is divine feminine. You are elevating. You're ascending from a situation. I feel like you recently learned a lesson here dealing with something or someone. And so you're moving on. You're choosing to 
ascend you're choosing to let something go and elevate it says learning and expansion i told you you just learned a lesson out here so you're entering into a new phase a new chapter of your life whatever this is you're done with and somebody here doesn't like that yeah look the chaser it says chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issue so you can have somebody who's like codependent on your energy because it came out like right on top of you Divine feminine and the chaser. Somebody wants to chase you now. They don't want you to get away. They're codependent on your energy. And codependency is unhealthy. So like divine feminine, you could have been dealing with somebody who's like depending on your energy for them to, you know what I'm saying? This could be codependency is like when somebody just calls you every day and they don't necessarily want anything, but it's your energy that makes them feel better. You know what I'm saying? But they they do they do that shit every day. And so you divine feminine, then that shit is draining. Because it's just like, okay, you're calling me every day, but you don't necessarily want anything. You know what I'm saying? You're not saying, hey, let's go do something. Let's go make plans. Let's go hang out. They don't have nothing positive to tell you. They're just calling you to, for some of you, just sit on the phone just to hear your voice or whatever. But it's just like, it's your energy that they need access to in order for them to have a better day, in order for them to go on with their day. And you're just like, you're dead in this shit. Like, no, don't just call me just so you can like siphon some of my energy. Like, so you can be dealing with an energy vampire for some of you or you were. It's like, I feel like you're just tired of this person. You don't want nothing. You don't, I'm not saying you don't, you don't want anything to do with them, but a lot of you are taking a break from this person or you're just completely separating. Like this is a breakup or you're just creating distance between you and somebody and that distance is making this person want to chase you and it's pissing them off. But oh well, because it's just like you need to go heal. You need to go work on yourself. Instead of chasing me out of insecurity, you need to go find yourself because that codependency shit is draining. Yeah, it says passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. So for some of you, this could have been like a situationship or it could be a relationship for some of you. But passion, I feel like you this person had a lot of passion together, a lot of good sex, insane chemistry. Like the feelings that you have for each other are mutual, having fun, having a good time. But I feel like that's all it was. And I feel like Divine Feminine, like you know your worth. It's like, yes, as much as you love the passion, as much as, much as you're aware of the chemistry, as much as you love the sex, you want something more commit committed. You want something more solid, something more dependable. This person is okay with just having fun, being friends with benefits, not being um responsible for your feelings or anything. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who doesn't want to be responsible for making you feel, you know, a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? So this is somebody who wants to have a good time with you. Yeah, all the sex. Yeah, we have fun. We kick it. Da da da. But, like, when it comes to the emotional aspect of the situation where, you know, where you need to, ha like, you need someone to support you emotionally or someone that you can talk to, someone who understands how you feel and shit, that part is missing. That person doesn't want to, they feel like they shouldn't have to be obligated or responsible for that. But, I mean, that comes with a divine feminine. Divine feminine is the whole package. So, you can't be, like... Well, I want to be with Divine Feminine to have a good time for the energy and for the sex, but I don't want the emotional part. You don't get to pick and choose. Like, it's really all or nothing with you. Like, on some real shit. Yeah, look, not today on the bottom of the deck. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundary, still angry. So, yeah, you, you, Divine Feminine, you recognize that somebody was codependent on your energy. So, you started creating boundaries. You created distance with this person. You stopped answering the phone. No, don't call me every day. No, you can't come out, come over. No, we can't hang out. And it's like, it has this person hot under the fucking collar, like real shit. And it says not today. So, for some of you, that could be why this person is getting mad because... This person's mad because you're trying to separate yourself and heal. But this person, you 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 separating yourself for your own healing is, is is triggering this person. It's making them feel like you're doing them wrong. Somebody is taking somebody is taking the fact that you're um taking space for yourself to heal, to to get get back in your in control of your emotions. Somebody's taking that as a personal attack. That you're avoiding them, that you're not answering the phone, that you don't want to talk to them and shit. Somebody's taking that personally. Like, they think it's them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, they think they too good to talk to me and shit like that. But it's really not that. Like, 
you're just a draining person. Your energy, like I can't tolerate that. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, healing heart underneath there, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, you freed yourself from something, and now you're just trying to focus on your energy, focus on your healing. You know, just get back into that good space with yourself. And this person is like, they don't want you to do that. This is somebody who keeps trying to interrupt your healing process. It's like they want to call you every five minutes. They want to see what you're doing, what you got going on for the day. They want to be in your business. They want to have access to you. But having this person having access to you is draining for you. So this person is taking your distance as a personal attack. Yeah, stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, separation, separation, shocking attack. This person is shocked and they feel like they're getting stabbed in the back. Like you're doing something wrong to them for, for pulling back your energy, for wanting to stay away from them, for wanting to distance yourself. Even though it's a lot of passion and chemistry, y'all like each other, y'all have fun together, but it's still not enough. I don't know why this is giving me like friends with benefits type of energy. Like this is somebody who just wanted to keep shit casual with you. They don't want to take it serious. They don't want to, you know, commit to this, but they still want to have access to you. Absolutely the fuck not. That's not getting ready to happen. Not with my fucking collective. So let's pull Zodiac sign. Who the fuck is this? Somebody's pissed because they're getting cut off. Cause their energy is like dirty, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't siphon divine, in, divine energy, like real shit. Like that's gonna whoever this person is that's trying to siphon your energy, they're not doing anything to create negative karma for themselves. Like you don't fuck with chosen ones. If you want to go uh, siphon somebody's energy, go siphon another karmic's energy, and, and go over there with that shit. But divine feminine. High vibrational, and you're just trying to suck up the energy because you feel some type of passion and you're codependent. Get the fuck out of here. This person can have abandonment issues and shit. So it's just like the moment you leave, you leaving this person alone is triggering them. We got Saturn. So, yeah, this is definitely a karmic relationship, a karmic lesson. Like you've officially learned something, Divine Feminine, and now. There's nothing else here for you to do. You've learned the lesson. Now it's time to move on to something else. This person, they may not understand the lesson yet. They still have to learn and catch on. But, oh, well, some of you, this could be a Capricorn with the Saturn card here. This is definitely a karmic lesson, a karmic relationship. Yeah, Pluto, Scorpio, Tower card here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is mad at you, Divine Feminine. Ooh, somebody is pissed. Like, you're rejecting them. But it's just like, you rejecting them is triggering their insecurities. They're taking it personal. Your rejection is making them feel like this person's not good enough or something is wrong with them. When that's not the case. It's not something wrong with you. This could be a good person, but it's something wrong with your energy. You need to go heal that. You need to go fix that. Mercury. Gemini energy. You know, we just got out of the Mercury retrograde. Thank you, Lord. But yeah, a lot of back and forth communication could be a lot of gossip with the Mercury energy here. But so far we got uh we got Leo out here and we got Capricorn, we got Scorpio, Gemini, Neptune, we got Pisces energy out here. And these are all planetary cards that are coming out. Like there's no actual zodiac sign coming out, it's just the planets. So there could be something going on in the energy as well. Like planetary, planetary, like astrologically, there could be something going on today. I don't know what it is because I'm not an astrologist. Yeah, then we got Scorpio. Hit me on the Scorpio energy. You know, Scorpio is like the tower, the death card. So something here is over with. It's dead. It's like you did it something with somebody divine feminine. Some a situation that was karmic. Something that was only triggering. It triggered something in you and it triggered something in this person. However, you figured out what it is that you need to learn from this person. Why this situation was so triggering for you. You understand what it is that you, you needed to learn or what this person was trying to teach you. So you're ready to move forward. You're dead in this shit. It's just like I'm over it. You're over these type of situations. You're over these type of people. These karmic, codependent people. You're over it. But this person is pissed. Yeah, we got air on the bottom of here too. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Definitely on the Libra because Venus is right behind that too. And Venus is their planet. Um, the planet of love and beauty and romance. But anyway, uh, let's see what the tarot got for you. Okay, collective. Somebody who's triggered, unhealed, low vibe. They are triggered by the fact that you want to leave or you're dead in the situation. Or you may have to tell this person that today and they're they not going to be okay with it. Like, you might literally have to tell somebody, like, look, I'm not, I can't keep going. I can't keep moving forward with this. Like, I can't do it. Like, <laughs> And they may get mad at you for that. Because they know they're going to be heartbroken, crushed, broken, sad, feeling alone. Alright. Let's see what the message is for the collective. Yeah, look at that. This is the judgment card. Yeah, somebody's shocked because you're making some sort of decision. And like I said, it could be um, gossip going on about this situation with the judgment card. You know, people are finding out shit. Something is coming to the light. Like, you could be having a conversation with somebody. And, you know, you could find out more information about this person, too. That's another reason that this person could be pissed. You could have found out something about them that they maybe maybe was trying to hide from you. Like, word is spreading fast about something here. And I don't know about what, but I feel like you're going to be shocked to hear about something or see something. Could be online. Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's like somebody's chasing you because you got Divine Feminine, the Chaser, and the Ten of Cups. Somebody knows that they can have total wish fulfillment with you. Somebody knows that they can have a happy marriage, family, like love, like a home filled with love. Like somebody knows that they can have that with you, which is why they're trying to chase you. Because they know if you get away or they miss this opportunity, you're going to be gone. Like there's no, not going to be, they probably won't find another person like this. Like, if at all, they may not find another divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this person knows that they're missing their opportunity. So it's like they're trying to chase you. Yeah, we got the hangman. So for some of you, this could be a Pisces or this person is just stuck on your energy. They're stuck on the passion, on the chemistry, on the dynamic that you had with this person. It's like this person wants, they, this person, oh my God. This person wants shit to stay the same, and that's not getting that's that's not getting ready to happen. Shit changes every day. Energy changes every day, and the fact that judgment you've woke up to what the fuck is going on here. You're taking a mask off. You keeping it a hundred with yourself. You keeping it a hundred with this person. They're not in a position to offer you or really truly give you the ten of cups, right? And the fact that you know that, it's like nothing else that you could do here now. Why would I keep wasting my time on somebody who I know can't give me the Ten of Cups? That's what you deserve, Divine Feminine. You deserve complete and emotional fulfillment. Not the Nine, not the Eight. The Ten of Cups is what you deserve. Somebody knows that they're not in a position to give you that right now. However, they are aware that they could have that with you. But judgment is here. You're calling somebody out on their shit. You're speaking the truth. You're taking the mask off. Like, no. Like, how are we going to have the Ten of Cups when you got this other bullshit going on in the background? So this person, hang hey, man, they're trying to hang on to your energy. They're trying to keep this situation the way it is. No, no, Divine Feminine. Let's just keep with the chemistry. Let's keep with the sex, with the passion. Let's just keep having fun. And it's like, you want more than that. You crave more than that, Divine Feminine. You deserve more than that. Somebody doesn't want to let you get away. They don't want you to leave and all of that. But it's just like, it's nothing else that you can take away from this situation. Yeah, look at that. Six of swords on the bottom of the deck. Overall energy is moving the fuck on. 
you're leaving some of you divine feminines like you could literally be moving like you could be legit moving to another city another state or something like the six of swords is like your spirit guys moving you from rough waters to calmer waters like we were dealing with this person like your emotions were all over the place it's just like you're always moody up and down one minute you're happy one minute you're sad because this person was triggering you triggering something with you that you recognize needs to be healed you know what I'm saying? So now that you're moving forward and you're, you're you're trying to heal, you're trying to go on your journey to fix whatever is is going on with you. This person is refusing to let you move on. Like, no, that's not fair. Like, or this person is just gonna be mad because it is what it is. Judgment. You call them judgment on this on this situation and this person. Like, you're not getting ready to keep doing this. You're not keep finna keep letting this person drain and siphon your energy because they refuse to change. Like, no. Five judgment here. Miss Ida. This is the high priestess reverse. So heavy, heavy on the um heavy on the hangman energy. Like I said, high priestess, like high priestess is the secret keeper, but the fact that she's in a reverse means a secret came out. Something here was revealed. Judgment with the high priestess reverse. Something here was revealed. Some secret somebody tried to keep, and it could be anything. Usually, the high priestess can be a side bitch. Maybe somebody's figuring out somebody who somebody's side piece was, who somebody was messing around with behind their back. For some of you, you couldn't know who this person is, or you know them from a social setting. If you don't know them personally, but it's like you're figuring out that the person that you were in this karmic situation with. It's like being revealed who they've been dealing with behind your back or that they even were dealing with somebody else other than you. You know, the reason why something couldn't get off the ground here, the reason why something was taking too long or something was triggering you or shit wasn't going right in the situation is because this person had a secret. But I feel like the secret is being revealed or the secret is coming out. Judgment with the high priestess reverse. Mm -hmm. Even the, either the side bitch or... The other option that this person had is revealing herself or she's revealing some sort of secret about this person. Like, because the high priestess reverse can be somebody extremely manipulative. Very much a karmic energy. For some of you, it could be a Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Why is the... Um, so they could have had this tower moment or this argument with a karmic feminine energy they were messing with behind your back. Why is the high priestess reverse? Yeah, strength card reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got Leo, we got Pisces out here. Scorpio. Yeah, strength card. Like I said, like you're you're realizing that somebody was this is we got three majors out here. Four, actually. We got the hangman, the judgment, the high priestess, and the strength. So this is a big deal. This is a significant situation that we're talking about. Strength card reverse. This is somebody like a coward. Somebody that you're looking at like a coward because whatever was revealed here with this high priestess reverse, whatever the secret was that's been exposed, this is almost like you could have told me that. You know, type shit. So now you're looking at somebody like they're weak, like somebody is a coward, like... This energy was definitely coming out in Leo's energy yesterday when I did their reading. So, some of you, this could definitely be a Leo. But you're viewing somebody as very cowardly. Somebody who is bitch made. Somebody who is weak. Because they were doing something behind your back that they really could have just told you about. Yeah, look at that. Empress with the Three of Swords. Somebody's heartbroken. Somebody's going to be heartbroken over you, Divine Femi, because you're done. Like this situation, whatever was revealed about this person or whatever secret they were trying to keep is like you're over. Or or if you realize that this person was trying to keep you a secret, like hell no. Nah. Divine feminine is out here twice. The Empress is out here twice. You don't you don't keep the Empress no fucking secret. She deserves to be shown off. She deserves to be with somebody who's proud to have her. Like real shit. You're the Empress. Like what the fuck? You're all four bitches in one. Like, it don't get no better than the Empress. It's only one in the deck. And somebody tried to hide you. Somebody tried to keep you a secret out of fear of some karmic female that they were messing around with. And you're calling judgment on this person. It could be 
this person also could explode or go off on you because you know about whoever this is. Like, you know. Maybe this person thought you didn't know that they were messing with somebody else, but you know. Like, real shit. Yeah, three of cups reverse. A lot of gossip going on about you, Divine Feminine. Maybe people are trying to call you a home wrecker or whatever the case. But it's like, bitch, I ain't no motherfucking home wrecker. It takes two to tango, motherfucker. Like, I ain't telling that motherfucker to cheat. I ain't telling that motherfucker to, to lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do nothing. Like, some people don't voluntarily try to be a third party. You know what I'm saying? People be out here so low vibrational and lying and doing all that type of shit. You can't, like, you can't get mad at the other person for being involved in a situation when the person at, when the person at fault was lying the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is making making themselves out to be single and available and shit. Whole time they with somebody and I don't even know about it. So now you mad at me when the secret comes out? How you mad at me? And this person was lying to the both of us. Like, the fuck? Like, that's how the karmic energies be, though. They find somebody else to blame. Anybody else, they don't want to take accountability or they don't want... To ruin their little fantasy or you know how them karmas be. They be wanting what they want. They be, they be desperate and willing to do anything for a man. Man could be dogging their ass out hard as hell and they still find a way to excuse his behavior and blame somebody else. But whatever. Yeah, but three of cups reverse, three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken because you found out about a third party or some secret or something he was revealed. Somebody was trying to keep you a secret. It's two female energies out here. We got a high priestess reverse and an empress. And then we got a, some coward ass motherfucker right in the middle. It could be um, a, a Leo for some of you. But yeah, it's just like, no, like you got the game fucked up. Now this person's looking heartbroken because you're moving the fuck on. And they don't want to fucking be with this high priestess reverse. She's secretive, manipulative as fuck. All type of shit, willing to expose this person, all type of shit. They now they want to chase you. They want to be with you because they want to have the ten of cups. No, you don't get to have the ten of cups after you put somebody in a third party. I mean, you can, but you have to do the work. Yeah, look at that star on the bottom of the deck. You're healing. This is somebody wish is to have the ten of cups with you. Could be an Aquarius for some of you, but it's somebody's desire, their wish fulfillment to have a happy marriage, happy family with you. But at the same time, you're not going to get that doing shit like this. Lying and sneaking and keeping secrets and putting motherfuckers in a third party and trying to hide a divine feminine. Like, how do you, you're not going to get a divine feminine. You're not going to get a ten of cups doing shit like this. You might have had an opportunity to offer the, the, the offer to have a ten of cups was on the table because divine feminine is out here, but somebody can sabotage the shit. Three of Cups, there's gossip going on and shit with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups could be unexpected pregnancy too. So it could be revealed that this person, it's like not only were they messing around with somebody that you didn't know about, they also tried, this person could be pregnant. And they tried to keep it a secret. That's for some of you. It's not going to be for all of you. Others of you, if there's no pregnancy involved, you're just finding out who the other person is that your person was, was messing with or... Somebody is finding out about you because they try to keep you a secret. But people know who it is now, who you are now or something. Because like I said, you could be getting gang stalked with access granted. People are trying to, you may be getting weird friend requests from motherfuckers and shit. Because some of here has been exposed. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Now somebody want to chase you for this Ten of Cups. Now that they didn't got exposed or they little dirty secret that came out, one of the skeletons that fell out of their closet. Now they like, oh, without Divine Feminine, we can still have the Ten of Cups. Wait, 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 Divine Feminine, come back, come back, come back. Seven of Wands, you're like, no. The Seven of Wands is like blocking, defensive, protecting your energy from this person, standing up for yourself, creating boundaries. You're like, no. Like, Seven of Wands is a no. Like, absolutely not. Yeah, you're protecting yourself. You're setting boundaries. Like you're 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 fighting off this person. Like hell no. Nah. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, I just seen the fool card. So for some of you, you're just freeing yourself from this situation. It's like, no, I'm liberating. I'm ascending myself. I'm finna go heal because you put me in a position where you this is somebody who hurt you. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you don't hurt a divine feminine. Like, no. Yeah, six of pentacles reversed. Yeah, this is somebody who was taking advantage of you. Who was trying to use you for whatever the fuck. Could have been trying to use you for money. Could have been trying to use you for your energy. Could have been trying to use you for whatever the fuck. Because the six of pentacles, pentacles are tangible shit. So this could have been somebody who's trying to use you or take advantage of you for whatever the fuck. Your energy. Um, your energy, your money, your assets. You know, whatever that you had that they had access to, they're trying to take advantage of you for that. Could be your car, your house. Maybe this person needed a place to stay or they were going back and forth between you and somebody else. It's like somebody just took complete advantage of your good nature. Six of Pentacles reverse. And that is how, that's the worst way to create karma by fucking with the most high by fucking with the chosen ones. You do you do this type of shit to karmic energies. You don't do this type of shit to a divine being. Somebody with genuine energy. Somebody with a pure heart who was really trying to help you. That was really trying to heal you. That was really trying to love you. Somebody who came in to be a blessing to your life. You do not take advantage of these type of people. Which is why somebody's karma is going to be really bad here. For doing this shit. Six of Pentacles. And that's why you're blocking this person. You're standing up for yourself. You're protecting your energy. You're like no. Whatever this person is asking you to do, asking you to borrow money, asking for a place to stay, it's a no. No. And that could be what, what pisses this person off too. You're not going to help them this time. Fuck no. Yeah, seven of cups. This could be somebody delusional, especially the Pisces energy heavy out here. We got all three Pisces card out here so far. We got Hangman, High Priestess, and the Seven of Cups is Pisces energy too. This is somebody who could possibly be delusional. Or if this person is not delusional, I mean, Seven of Cups, it's a cup energy. So this could be somebody who like gets drunk, has too many drinks, and then they call you wanting to argue and shit. Like, or they could be high or under the influence of something and they want to call you and argue and shit. It's just like, fuck no. You call this person out on their shit with the judgment and they don't like it. Like, you think I'm some sort of fool, bitch? You think you thought you was going to use me and take advantage of me? Like, nigga, I know what the fuck your ass was doing the whole time. I just see what you, what you would. I gave you space to hang yourself. Hang man. You knew what this person was up to the whole time. You're a divine feminine. You, you are spiritually in tune and spiritually divine feminine has a special connection with the most high. She gets downloads. When she soon she meet a person, the divine will, will, will give her the, the tea, will give her the information on a motherfucker before they even do anything. I'm talking about she can read a motherfucker for filth. So this divine feminine knew what somebody was doing the whole fucking time. But she gave this person enough room to hang themselves. I want to see how far you're going to take this. I want to see how far you think you're going to try to use me. Take it out. How long do you think you're going to be able to take advantage of me? I want to see this. And this person hung themselves. Six of Pentacles reversed with the Seven of Cups. Now they lost and confused and they don't know what to do. And now they really need help. Six of Pentacles reversed. Oh, I need help. Somebody help me. I need somebody come save me. But this is somebody who didn't burn a bridge with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, free, the uh, food card, free man. You, you freed yourself from this situation. You are liberated from this person. The food card and the Six of Swords, no. I gave you enough space. I, 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 I gave you space to use your own free will to make your own decisions when it comes to me and when it comes to situations. I watched you to see what you were going to do and how you were going to handle this and you failed this miserably. This is somebody who thought you were fucking boo-boo the fool. They thought you were a dummy. Trying to take advantage of you, trying to use you for whatever the fuck it is, money, a place to stay, whatever it is that you got, whatever it was that you were helping them with, or just your energy. This person was trying to siphon. They were trying to take advantage of you like you didn't know any better. Like Divine Feminine is the smartest woman in the deck. She embodies every queen. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. She's all encompassing. Nobody's intuition is more on point than a fucking divine feminine, than an empress. And this moron, whoever the fuck this is, 
thought that you didn't know any better. You were literally just watching and waiting to see how far this person thought that they were going to be able to take this shit. How far did you think or how long did you think you were going to be able to use me? Some of you, you could have blocked this person with the seven of wands or you're going to possibly the day this person try to argue with you and shit. You just gonna block this motherfucker. Like, get the fuck out of here. Why's the fool card here? Yeah, daughter of coins, page of coins. This is somebody who doesn't have much to offer. This is somebody who's trying to offer you a page of pentacles, which is just like a page of pentacles is just like going on a date or something. It's, it's not much. This is somebody who will be offering friendship or the way that it looks on this card. This could be somebody who's like trying to invite you to a family event or invite you to some sort of family gathering to make it seem like you're really significant to them. But this person is not ready for a true commitment. The, the page of coins, the empress is out here and this is a page of coins. You have a page, somebody who has a lot of work to do, a lot of maturing to do, a lot of fucking growing up to do. You got a page out here trying to pursue a fucking Empress Divine Feminine. That shit is not going to work. Like, the fuck? This is somebody who don't know the first thing about a healthy relationship at all. Page of principles, yeah. For some of you, this person may be trying to bring you a gift, but like I said, it's a page, it's a small gesture. So even if it's not like an actual gift or something small, they try to bring you something that you like just to, to, to like keep the peace or whatever the fuck. It could be flowers, it could just be a phone call or something. But whatever this person is trying to do to get back into your good graces is not gonna work. Like you're gonna call judgment on this motherfucker, and they're gonna be looking stupid as hell. Like the fuck. How's the page of pentacles here? Yeah, seven of, seven of pentacles. This person is frustrated. For some of you, this person could be going through something financially or their bank account is in a negative or they got low funds. The seven of pentacles is literally like your bills piling up and you don't have enough money to pay all of them. This is somebody who's in debt. They don't have a lot of money to spend. Which is why they're trying to bring you some cheap ass gift with the page of pentacles. Seven of pentacles reverse is also like a waste of time. This is somebody that you realize is wasting your fucking time. Seven of pentacles. Like this is wasted time, wasted energy, waste of an investment. It's like you put time, energy, and effort into this situation with this person for nothing. Seven of Pentacles reverse. It's a bad investment. And this person's trying to come back around and offer a page of Pentacles friendship. Or they're just trying to bring you some small ass gift or just something. Because they, they know that they've been busted. They've been caught. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? This person could even embarrass you or like this could be like public humiliation. You know what I'm saying? Like people finding out about whatever this is. It just whatever the situation is, I feel like it speaks volumes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at that. Son of baskets. Knight of cups. And that is somebody who's trying to play nice. Not even want to come towards you acting like they're so sweet and they're so innocent. And they're so chivalrous. And again, look at this person with something in his hand trying to bring you something here. This could be an apology. This person wants to apologize for putting you in this third party, for making you look stupid, for trying to put you in a competition. But it's just like, it's too late. You, This person fumbled you. You only get one chance with an empress or emperor. And if you fuck that up and you sabotage that, you're not getting it back. Because you didn't already prove to the divine that you're not worthy of that. So you have to go, you got some, this person has to go and do some work on some, on themselves, go heal somewhere. Instead of trying to chase you to get this opportunity back, it's not getting ready to fucking happen. It's not. Your spirit guides have already ordered you to move the fuck on with the six of swords. This lesson is over. So divine feminine, you could have really just met this person because you were sent to teach this person something. Now that the lesson is over, 
it's time for you to go, Divine Feminine. And this person is just stuck on stupid. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to move on. They don't want to work on themselves. They just want to chase behind you and feed off your energy and think that you're going to take care of them. For some of you, this is somebody who legit thinks that you're going to take care of them. They want to come live with you, come stay with you and all this type of shit because whatever secret was revealed about this third party or whatever the fuck this is got going on, whoever this high priestess reverse is, this, this karmic feminine that they were with, she don't want nothing to do with their ass. They could be getting kicked out or something here and it's just like now this person want to beg and plead with you after they try to take advantage of you. Now they sorry. You sorry, all right. You a sorry motherfucker. I have to hang me in here. Yeah, the magician. This person's trying to call you in. They're trying to manifest your energy. So you can be seeing this person's name or just signs of synchronicities. You can see stuff that they like. You can see, hear songs that remind you of them. Like, this shit is crazy. What the fuck is this? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune Reverse, because they're getting bad karma. Didn't I say that? This, this is somebody who's getting some negative karma. There's been a change of events in the worst way for this person because of what they were trying to do to you. Now that this person has been caught up in their lies, they've been caught, they know that that they 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 know that what they they were trying to do, motherfuckers already knew, motherfuckers is already hip. So now this person's trying to rush in and apologize. Like, no, the mom didn't. It. Don't leave. We can fix this. We can work on this. Da, da, da. No, the fuck we can't. Take your ill. This is somebody who needs to take their ill and go. You fumbled me. You fucked up the opportunity. You sabotaged the shit. Being sneaky, lying, cheating, being a third party. Take your ill and go. Just be gone. Leave me alone. Leave Divine Feminine alone. That's what a fortune reverse. Yeah, the emperor. This is somebody who needs to learn a lesson to grow the fuck up. This is this is somebody trying to rush back in to convince you that they're ready. You're showing up as the empress. The emperor just came out here. But this person, the will of fortune is in reverse. They're going through bad karma. So the only reason this person is trying to step forward and act like they're ready for a relationship is because shit has went left for them. Literally. Uh. Now they want to try to hurry up and get that act together. Hurry up and come bring you this gift. Hurry up and come come apologize because their shit is falling apart. They knew who the fuck you were and they knew that this could be the Empress and the Ten of Cups. They knew that you were the one that they were supposed to marry and be with for a long time. This person was playing games. They weren't ready to commit, weren't ready to settle down, weren't ready to be serious and shit. So they thought they could string you along until they were ready. That shit has backfired on them. Now this person trying to rush in with gifts and an apology and, oh, Divine Feminine, I'm ready now. Let's do this. Da, da, da. Divine Feminine, you're like, mm, no. Like, you could be completely turned off by this person or don't even look at them the same. That's the emperor here. Yeah, look at that. This person's trying to show up as the emperor, trying to act like they're ready for you now. When really underneath that, there's a knight of swords reverse. Somebody who's a liar, somebody who's a ghoster. The knight of swords reverse is somebody could even be a criminal. This could be somebody who's known for stealing or they did something in their past that's like criminal life. Or the Knight of Swords reverse is also somebody gossipy. This is somebody who left you alone or 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 tried to go be with a karmic feminine energy. This shit backfired on their ass. And now, like, this person was pillow talking, telling your business to this karmic and shit. That's why I said because somebody is watching you on social media. Like, people are, like, looking up your name and shit, trying to figure out who you are, looking at your page, what you post, what you look like, trying to see your pictures and shit. Because this person talked talk bad about you, basically, Divine Feminine. Uh -huh. Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah. Queen of Swords reverse. You end up cussing this motherfucker out with the Queen of Swords reverse. <laughs> Look at that. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Ooh, we so yeah, you may end up cussing this motherfucker out because this is somebody who played in your face, played in your energy. And now they're trying to come back acting like they're sweet with this raggedy ass gift, whatever the fuck this is, trying to act like they're ready for a relationship after they completely embarrassed you. Bitch, are you out your fucking mind? Are you out your fucking mind? Ace of Wands reverse. You are disinterested. Turn the fuck off by this person. And like I said, something could have came out about them in regards to something that they were doing with this divine, uh, with this karmic film, with this uh, 
high priestess reverse or the truth about how this person tried to play you over this high priestess reverse is being revealed. And now this person is looking stupid. Now they want to come back in, apologize, act like they ready to right their wrongs. No, the fuck you not, bitch. Yeah, uh, the hierophant. Now this person want to act like they're ready for a commitment and shit. But see, Divine Feminine, you've held your power. I'm going to put this hierophant back in the deck, but divine feminine you've held your power regardless of what this person tried to do to you you stood strong you're resilient you still kept your faith you stayed disciplined you learned your lesson the hierophant that's why you're a wise energy now like real shit you're wise as fuck you know a lot you're an old soul divine feminine and now this person trying to come back towards you, trying to speak some sort of truth, trying to apologize, trying to get back into your good graces after they tried to dog you out, after they humiliated you, ten of wands, after they ran off with this high priestess reverse and accumulated all this baggage, all these burdens and shit. Now this person want to run back to you to help them, to solve their problems, to, to, to do this, to, this, to do that. When they tried to plot on you in the past, set you up, take advantage of you, they could have been in cahoots with this high priestess reverse to take advantage of you. She could have been, because she's manipulated it is it's fucked so she could have put this masculine up to to she knew about you because the high priestess is intuitive she knew that this person was messing with somebody else but when she realized that you were a divine feminine she could have put this person up to, to taking advantage of you oh yeah say this to her make sure you get that when you go over there that type of shit But boy, is this shit biting this person in the ass. Will of Fortune. When I say their whole life has went left ever since they did this shit. I'm talking about God will make your enemy your footstool. This is somebody who teamed up with the enemy to go against you. And now it is is turning out terribly for this person. And now here they come. Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, want to apologize. But ever since you and this person separated, they've learned nothing. They're still at a page in a night level and you're the fucking empress. This person didn't learn anything. Why is the seven of pentacles reversed? Yeah, look at that. Seven of swords reversed. This person got caught lying, cheating, being sneaky, being a fraud, being a fake. Why is the seven of swords here? Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Now this person wants to return to you. So this could have been an opportunist energy. This is somebody who's used to taking advantage of people. That they fucked up when they try to take advantage of this divine feminine. They thought they were going to get away with this shit. Never, bitch. You'll need me before I ever need you again. Ace of Swords. Yeah, look at that. So what is this? Son of Sticks. This is the Page of Wands reverse. Somebody completely fucking immature. For some of you, this person has an STD. I'm talking about this person's life is in shambles and they need your help. This is somebody who bit the head hand that fed them. Because I feel like, yeah, look at that. Will, uh, the devil. Mm -hmm. This person definitely could have an STD for some of you. Could be a Capricorn. I feel like this is not... This is that this is really that person from your past that really like did a number on you. This is that person that you're just like absolutely the fucking not. If this person was the last motherfucker on earth, I would never fucking date them, be with them, be seen with them again because they really played in your face for a high priestess reverse. This is something that took you a while to heal, to get over, but it's the situation where you learn the most from because it transformed you into the divine feminine. This person's life is in shambles, bro. Woo. And now they want to come back towards you now that their life has completely failed the fuck apart. No. How's the Six of Swords here? This person is aggressive. They're jealous, possessive, low vibe. And I'm telling you, I'm getting a strong sense. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You're a divine feminine. You're single and happy, single and content. By yourself. Look, she's in this boat by herself. 
Nine of Cups is a single energy, a single and happy. It's not just the Nine of Cups is not just somebody who's single. It's somebody who's single and happy. Somebody who is emotionally fulfilled on their own, independent. They're they're the opposite of codependent. This is somebody who doesn't need to feed off of other people's energy to have a good day to feel good about themselves and shit. And somebody is perfectly fine being okay because even being single, yeah, you might not have a person or a relationship or a partner, but your needs and your wishes are still fulfilled on your own. God still provides you and makes sure that you have everything that you want and you're happy. You still eat the, the, the best food, cook the best food, buy whatever you want, go wherever you want, do whatever you want. You're pretty much content and happy on a day-to-day -day basis. Especially ever since you moved on from this shit. Like real shit. Nine of Cups. Yeah, Father of Knives. So for some of you, Father of Knives reverse. For some of you, this could be a um the Gemini Libra Aquarius. I told you Queen of Swords reverse over here. This is somebody that you're not talking to. This person's gonna try to reach out. But I feel like you may end up having to cut cuss this person to fuck out because it's almost like whatever this person did, it's like the audacity of them trying to come the fuck back. Like, this is this person, like, they did way too much. This is not somebody who just fucked up with you on some shit. You know, this ain't somebody who just made, like, normal people mistakes, you know. And then, you know, you have to get on their ass a little bit. And then they be like, all right, my bad. You know, I apologize. I ain't mean it. Da, da, da. And then y'all move on. No, this is somebody who really tried to do you for dirt. Page of Swords. This person is watching you, spying, looking on your social media, making fake accounts, trying to see what you're up to. Because a lot of you are not going to just unblock this person willingly. Like, if you see this person's name, a lot of you are here. You have to click delete. Like, fuck no. Page of Swords. This person is lurking, spying, watching you on social media, be happy. Why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah, tower and the ten of wands. This person that recently experienced a tower. This person, oh my god, they need. They are. They are in need of some sort of help or assistance. Like real shit. They're in need of some type of help or assistance because I just feel like things have fell apart in their life. Like real shit. This person's at a really low point. Yeah, star card. They want to heal now. They're with you're this person's wish fulfillment. They want to heal now with the star card. But you, this person's coming to you to, for you to heal them. No. Yeah, moon card. I told you this person got secrets. Even when they come towards you, they're not going to be telling you everything that they fucking went down since you last time you seen him. And this is a moon card. But like, look at you. When you see this man, and it's like a kid next to him in a moon card. This person has a secret child. This person that had a child, another kid since the last time you seen them. Or they have one on the way. They got a secret little child by somebody that they ain't had no business fucking with. And they come back towards you, but they gonna hide that shit from you. They don't want you to know about that. I feel like you already know. You're divine feminine. You're intuitive as hell. Yeah, this person gonna come towards you acting like they're ready for a commitment, but they want to keep secrets. They don't know about. They don't want you to know about what happened between them and this karmic feminine, this high priestess reverse. They don't want you to know nothing about that. They want to keep that hidden. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about the past. Let's just move forward, be in a relationship, live happily ever after. Like no, yeah, justice reverse. For some uses definitely be a believer. I'm talking about this person. Is getting the worst fucking karma when I say like you got the two worst karma cards out here the justice two major arcanas the justice reverse and the will of fortune reverse that is when somebody take life takes a complete 180 in the wrong direction this person can have legal issues legal trouble something is really like then just went completely wrong in this person's life that karma hit somebody so hard bro like this person, mm -mm. yeah, nine of wands, this person's pissed off. They're holding a grudge. They're resentful because their life did not turn out how they thought it was going to turn out after they tried to play you. Like this person thought that they were going to sacrifice you, do you dirty, and they was going to win, that they was going to be on top. This person lost majorly. Nine of Wands, they have even more trust issues. This person is tired. They're exhausted. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. But when it's in the reverse, it talks about somebody giving up. 
somebody who feels like they're too tired to keep going. This shit that's stressing them out with the Ten of Wands is too much for them to carry. Life is really beating somebody down right now. And they got the nerve to have an attitude towards you. Want to project anger on you like this shit is your fault. <laughs> Four of Wands. Yeah, this could be some type of twin flame shit or the person that you thought was your twin flame. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this person's trying to apologize. And they gonna act like they ready for you, Divine Feminine. This person needs to go heal. Yeah, four coins. They're holding on to your energy. Whatever whatever you did with this person when y'all were together, it's like this person misses that energy. Whatever, whatever they experienced when you were with this person was the best time of their life. Anything else outside of that, from their childhood to any other romantic relationship they created with somebody else, anybody else they have kids with, nothing compares to the time that they spent when they were with you. That's the most love this probably this person probably ever got in their life. Yeah, three of wands reverse, and whatever they did after they left you, did nothing but delay them, stagnate them, slow their life down. Yeah, two of wands reversed. This person made the wrong decision on when they chose not to go on the path with you. Now this person ate the source. They stuck. They don't know what to do. They all up in their head and shit. Yeah, this person can't sleep because you don't want nothing to do with them. This is somebody who doesn't take care of their mental health. Somebody here is extremely codependent. They need to go see a therapist or something with the Hermit reverse. They need to go see a doctor. Something could be wrong with them down there. Like, and all they can think about is how they was this close to having the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with you. This is somebody who thinks you can save them. Nobody can save their ass but the most high in themselves. What's the hard part here? Yeah, three of wands reverse. Yeah, this person was a distraction. For some of you, this person could have slowed you down when you were with them. And then look at that, five of swords. This person... They just have that mind, mindset of trying to win at all costs. This is somebody with a survival mentality. Somebody who was taught and raised on how to get over on people in order to win in life. And that's not how you do shit. Five of Swords, this person is jealous of you secretly. This is somebody trying to come back towards you, trying to pretend like they're ready for a relationship, but they're secretly in competition with you. Jealous of your lifestyle. Jealous of how you live, how you carry yourself. But at the same time, they're in love with you with the Two of Cups. Like, this motherfucker is weird as hell. Now they send some word looking stupid with their heart fucking broken because they chose the wrong person. Oh, well, that's your fault. You got to live with that. Because the mind people, you're uninterested. Ace of Wands reverse. You're not interested in this person. You feel like this person is such a fucking turn off. They just goddamn disgust you. And this person is going to try it. I'm telling you, this person is going to make an attempt. And what is this death card reverse yeah this person has not changed death card reverse in the world card you've leveled up from this situation you learned your lesson you moved on you're happy some of you are in a good space in your life you're healing you're minding your business and death card this person is trying to come towards you with all this negative ass energy like real shit so this is like a warning reading that this person is getting ready to come in be on your p's and q's divine feminine yeah, look at that, because you're the queen of cups. Somebody sweet, loving, nurturing, caring. You have a beautiful smile, a pure heart. You're loving, you're genuine. This is the mic who tried to take advantage of your genuine heart. The love that you had for them, unconditional. Yeah, two of pentacles. This person tried to juggle you. Now they want to come back trying to negotiate some shit with you. Can we work this out, Divine Feminine? Is there anything that I can do? No, it's not. The only thing you can do is get the fuck away from me. Yeah, Chariot, you're moving the fuck on. Divine Feminine, it's, it's over. Sun car, you're happy and content. Whether you're with somebody or not, you're happy. You're leveling up. You're in good health. You're minding your fucking business. You're in a good space in your life, and you're not going to let this person come in and try to ruin your shit again. Whatever they experience, whatever karma that they're getting because of what they did to you is their business. Oh, well, bitch, get over it. Lesson learned for you to never treat somebody like that again. End of story. So anyway, this has been a reading for today. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.